Okay, good morning everyone and today we're going to be talking about the updates that we have from the advanced key level which is very simple so i'm going to go straight towards it this is the update on the advanced key level you already know how to use the previous setup on the advanced key level so this is an added setup that is going to help you take advantage of the key level whenever you missed out of this particular signal which is called the 3 over 3 which is called the complete phase so once you miss them out there are other features that we added into it which is the entry price numbers of candles and numbers of pips now if you look at my telegram channel you'll be able to say i dropped a signal there i dropped a signal and i dropped a signal which is this i took a trade because i'm going to give you the reason why i took this trade and i posted it on my telegram channel which is from the trading um journal which set up is the advanced key level as you can see it's very different from what you know so now what you're going to be looking out for is what these numbers of candle this is a second setup on inside the advanced key level so what you're going to look out for is the numbers of candle if the numbers of candle is between zero to two you take that trade depending on the direction of the trend direction and the current direction so the reason why i took a buy on this trade is very simple because this candle is between zero to two that's why i took it so now the candle is now three so i'm not going to take any trade i've already taken the trade that's why i posted it so once you see any candle that is zero one or two you look for the trend direction if it's telling you up move the current direction is telling you up move you mean you're going to buy if you see a candle that is zero or one or two and the trend direction is what down move or the current direction is down move is a sell in respective of what this is saying we have different setup for this one which you already know you know how to set it but the second pattern is that if you miss out this first setup which is the complete circle then you can use this one that we just added to it which is the candle the entry price and the numbers of people you combine it with the trend direction and the up move and take a trade so for example before i took this trade the numbers of candle was two that means the price has been up for two hours that's why i was able to take it you understand but if you see three that means it's up for three hours so the price has gone so far you not have any ability to take it then you can see take it based on the numbers of pip you're saying right now the numbers of pip is just five pip if i look at the trade that i took now i should be in profit also you see it so this is where i entered from the market this is where i entered from it this is the price i entered from it this is the entry price it gave to us and price has to be traced down to this point now as i look at the entry price of this pair i'm going to give you another example look at the entry price where the price started moving up which is 99.954 which is the exact point here but i missed it out that is why i had to look at it this is where it started from this point here this is where it gave the signal but i missed that so i entered on the second candle which is this place i entered right you can see price is going up you understand so those are the things you need to look out for it's very simple it's not difficult the first one we look at a complete circle when we get a self signal here um the downward movement the downward movement will take a trade on the other hand if you miss out of this signal what you're going to look at for is this candle less than three if it's less than three what is the trend direction say is it up or down what is the current direction say is it up or down so if it's up here it's up and this candle is less than two you take a buy position if here is down here is down and the numbers of candles is less than two take a set is as simple as that and another way you can be able to set an alert notification so that you be able to be in time with this number so that you will not miss out you go to this place it's simple as abcd go to the trend direction click on this click on look at it 
trend a lot. So you just have to pick the particular pair that you love trading. Me is good actually. Currently now price hasn't reacted to any level on good. So that is why I am not trading good for now because the advanced key level has not reacted on this. So I just set it. So whenever the trend will re reverse to up move or down move, I'll be able to take that trade. Then you can go to your history. Come here. Come to view history. Look for this. First of all, you click here. You drop down will come down. Then click this point. Then you select. Once you select, you see that my gold is intact. So I'm waiting for um, a reversal in direction, whatever I will, so that I will be able to get the exact point when the candle is between zero and one and take a trade. But currently now, the advanced key level, there is no good there because price hasn't react to any key level. No good yet. You understand? That's why this advanced key level price must react to a certain key level before it will appear here. You understand? Now let's take another pair or look for another pair. Let me see what the trend is talking about. Let's look at USDJPY. Let's look at what USDJPY is talking about. Today is Monday. As you can see, this price has gone far. You understand? Seven candle, meaning that USDJPY has been on a bullish move for the past seven hours. You can see up move, up move. Um, seven candle. This is the entry price 151.69. So I don't need to enter this trade again. All I need to do now is to wait for me to see either zero or one here. Then look for the trend direction where it's heading to. Is it up or down? Is it up or down? I'll take it now. Let's look at the chart and see where this trend direction is actually heading to the numbers of people where it started from. So our entry point for this space is very simple. When the software told us that this price starts to buy is what 151.690. So let me open my MC5 and see you uh, sorry USDJPY. If I have it here, let me see USDJPY. It's not here, so let me add it up. USDJPY. USDJPY. Which is this? So let's add it up on the chart. Yes, the JP1 and look at where the price started moving from. So let's go to the app now. It said 15.169. So 15.169, which is very simple. 15. 15.169. Okay. Six nine. So let's see where the price started moving to the upside. Let's see if we have taken it. So had it been we took this trade when the price was here, which would have been a profit. So it's very simple. Currently now the prices has gone up in the past seven hours. That is what is trying to indicate to you here. Numbers of candle moved where it started moving up, which is one five point one six nine, which is the exact point you're seeing here, which is this point. So had it been I was awake then I set my alert notification or I was trading USJPY, I would have entered when the price is actually here. So I would have right to this place. Even if the, the volatility is not much, but that is how to spot a buy or a sell move from what you look at this candle once you miss out of this so there are two set up in the advanced key level is either you're using the top one which is a complete circle or you're using just this candle numbers of candle before you take a trade buy or sell numbers of candle must be either zero one or three do you understand if it's three you don't need to take it that means price has gone far then if it's zero one or two anyone you be able to meet then you check the trend direction if it's up you change the current direction if it's up that means you take it by it's very simple very very simple but you are seeing seven nights nice. telling us that price has formed seven candle one can one one point here represent one hour so meaning that price has been up for the past what seven hours so price has gone far so the next thing you need to watch is to check out for a pair that is showing zero or one day check the trend direction so let's search one more see if we can get any pair that is actually showing zero or one let's see if we can get that this one is t7 let's see if we can get any pair 
it is showing that this is 6 to price has gone far. Let's see if we can get in. This is 7. Price has gone far, but that is how you need to hustle for trade. You understand? Using the advanced key level, simple. This candle is 5. You understand? So I don't think there is anyone that is actually on that point. Now you can see some, the system will not be able to read them. As you can see, this is, this one is showing zero. You understand? It's showing currently zero. It's showing the entry price. This is a good one for you to sell. This is a good example for you to sell, which is what the euro, the euro was it called or so i'm going to post it on my telegram channel it's showing current candle zero this is the entry price this is the entry price trend direction is down trend direction is down so this is a very sweet one for you to sell so this is how to look out for opportunities in the market as you can see the signal is telling you that it's out of buy zone meaning the price has been buying since now it has reversed do you understand it has reversed down to what zero now let's look at what euro orders look at this entry price it gave to what and see if, if we'll be able to sell it i'll post it on the telegram channel before i share this video so let's see euro odd so that is how to set for opportunity euro odd is telling us to sell you understand by using the updated setup that we added on this application let's see the rule out let's see the entry points that we entered from you'll be able to see it clearly let's look at our entry points this is our entry point it's telling us our entry point is 1 1.6463 1.6463 1.6463 1.6463 let's look at where it started selling from so it's exactly from this point which is called the zero point so we can take a sell now and put our stop loss at the top it's as simple as abcd so that is how to place your trade you understand how to also place your trade using the advanced key level you have two form of doing it you must look for it. first of all the first setup is look for a complete circle that shows you either sell here downward move downward move then if you miss out on that one there's still another opportunity look for candle that is showing zero this is a good example to sell then the trend direction down another trend direction down so that is how to um, use this set of the ticket trade it's as simple as ABC then your stop loss should be the recent high if you're selling if you're buying your setup should be the recent low it's as simple as it is so i'm going to be posting this now on the telegram channel and uh, share the video for them to um, understand how to use it so any pair you're seeing here on this place has reacted to a certain key level as you can see yesterday high low key level that is why you're seeing the change in trend direction so that is all we have for today it's very simple if you have difficulties you can message me and i'll show you what and what you need to do simple as ABCD. Thank you for your time, guys. All right, and an, another added information I forgot to mention. You understand? We've already placed that trade, as you can see. I've already posted it on the Telegram channel that they should sell this particular pair. You understand? It's an example of it. So, what you need to look out for is this trend direction we added to the advanced key level actually followed the direction of the market. So this now that we are selling this because we have a downward movement downward movement and numbers of candles is zero if paraventure this direction changes or we are moving and we saw one candle in the next one hour we saw one candle on all, all of a sudden this now changes to up move you close out immediately you understand you just close out immediately whenever you see change in this trend direction even if we just entered when we see it we saw zero but immediately you see an upward movement when you see upward movement here up movement you just close out your position but for now we are still on a downward movement we're still on a downward movement that is why we're still taking the trade so as you can see we posted it on our telegram channel already in the locked in you understand so that is how to use the advanced key level to take 
trade without you using the complete circle so that is how it it works so if you have any question hit me up and i'll be able to explain in details to you guys thank you very much for your time